Ancient civilization had their own unique sets of laws and rules, which were based on their cultures, traditions, and beliefs. Some of these laws and rules might seem strange, or even absurd to us today, but they were considered necessary for maintaining order and harmony in the society. In this video, we will explore some of the most strangest laws and rules in ancient civilizations. Egypt Let's start with ancient Egypt, where cats were considered sacred animals and killing one was punishable by death. The punishment for stealing a cat was also severe, and the thief could be punished by having their hands cut off. In addition, the Egyptians had a law that prohibited the consumption of fish that lacked scales, such as catfish. It was believed that these fish were associated with chaos and disorder. Ancient Egypt was a civilization that was deeply connected to its religious beliefs, and the treatment of animals was a significant part of their culture. Cats, in particular, were considered sacred animals and were revered for their ability to protect against vermin and other pests. Killing a cat, even by accident, was considered a grave offense, and the punishment was severe. It could result in the offender being sentenced to death. Similarly, stealing a cat was also considered a serious offense, as it was believed that cats had the power to ward off evil spirits. Thieves who were caught stealing a cat could be punished by having their hands cut off, a punishment that was reserved for only the most serious crimes. In addition to their strict laws regarding cats, the ancient Egyptians also had a law that prohibited the consumption of certain types of fish, particularly those that lacked scales, such as catfish. It was believed that these fish were associated with chaos and disorder and were therefore considered unclean. This law was likely based on religious beliefs and was intended to promote cleanliness and purity. Overall, the treatment of animals was an important part of ancient Egyptian culture, and the strict laws regarding cats and fish were a reflection of their deep-seated religious beliefs. These laws served to reinforce the importance of animals in their society and to promote a sense of order and harmony among the people. China Moving on to ancient China, one of the most unusual laws was the one-dog policy. During the Han Dynasty, people were only allowed to own one dog per household, and if they had more than one, they had to pay a tax. The reason for this law was to prevent dog fights and reduce noise pollution. Another interesting law was the Nine Familial Exterminations, which meant that if one member of a family committed a crime, the entire family would be punished, including their extended relatives. Ancient China was another civilization that had its own unique set of laws and regulations, some of which were quite unusual by today's standards. One such law was the One Dog Policy that was implemented during the Han Dynasty. Under this law, families were only allowed to keep one dog as a pet, and if they had more than one, they had to pay a tax. The primary aim of this law was to prevent dog fights and reduce noise pollution caused by excessive barking. Another law that was quite unusual was the Nine Familial Exterminations. Under this law, if one member of a family committed a crime, the entire family, including their extended relatives, would be punished. The punishment could range from imprisonments to death, and it was meant to deter people from committing crimes by holding their entire family responsible for their actions. The Nine Familial Exterminations Law was rooted in the belief that individuals were responsible not only for their own actions, but also for the actions of their family members. This law was considered necessary to maintain social order and prevent people from engaging in criminal activities. While this law may seem harsh by modern standards, it was effective in deterring crime and promoting a sense of responsibility among family members. Overall, the laws and regulations of ancient China were often based on Confucian principles, which emphasized the importance of social order, family values, and moral responsibility. While some of these laws may seem strange or even harsh today, they were considered necessary for maintaining a stable and harmonious society in ancient China. Greece In ancient Greece, there was a law that prohibited women from attending the Olympic Games. The punishment for breaking this law was death. 
This law was put in place to maintain the purity of the games and prevent any distractions or disruptions. In addition, there was a law that required men to have a beard. If a man was found without a beard, he could be fined. Ancient Greece was a civilization that is known for its contributions to philosophy, art, and politics. However, it also had its own unique set of laws and regulations, some of which may seem unusual or even shocking today. One such law was the prohibition on women attending the Olympic Games. This law was put in place to maintain the purity of the games and prevent any distractions or disruptions. Women who were caught attending the games could be punished with death. The Olympic Games were considered one of the most important sporting events in ancient Greece, and only male athletes were allowed to compete. This law was rooted in the belief that the games were a celebration of male strength and athleticism, and that the presence of women would detract from this. It also reflected the patriarchal nature of ancient Greek society, where women had limited rights and were often excluded from public life. Another unusual law in ancient Greece was the requirement for men to have a beard. If a man was found without a beard, he could be fined. This law was based on the belief that beards were a symbol of masculinity and wisdom, and that men who lacked a beard were seen as effeminate or weak. It also reflected the cultural norms of ancient Greek society, where physical appearance and grooming were considered important indicators of status and respectability. Overall, the laws and regulations of ancient Greece reflected the values and beliefs of its society. While some of these laws may seem unusual or even unjust by today's standards, they were considered necessary for maintaining order and promoting the social and cultural norms of the time. By examining these laws, we can gain a better understanding of the customs and traditions of ancient Greece and the role that law played in shaping its society. Rome Moving on to ancient Rome, one of the strangest laws was the Lex Scantinia, which prohibited any sexual activity between males. The punishment for breaking this law was severe and could result in the offender being publicly flogged or even put to death. In addition, there was a law that required people to wear certain types of clothing based on their social status. If a person wore clothing that was above their social status, they could be fined. Ancient Rome was another civilization that had its own unique set of laws and regulations, some of which may seem strange or even barbaric by today's standards. One of the most unusual laws was the Lex Scantinia, which prohibited any sexual activity between males. This law was based on the belief that such activity was immoral and went against the natural order. The punishment for breaking this law was severe and could result in the offender being publicly flogged or even put to death. Another law in ancient Rome that was quite unusual was the requirement for people to wear certain types of clothing based on their social status. This law was intended to maintain social order and to prevent people from dressing above their station. If a person wore clothing that was above their social status, they could be fined or even punished with exile. The clothing laws of ancient Rome were based on the belief that one's clothing was an important indicator of their social status and that people should dress accordingly. It reflected the hierarchical nature of ancient Roman society where social status was determined by birth and wealth. It also served to reinforce the importance of social order and hierarchy in ancient Roman society. Overall, the laws and regulations of ancient Rome were often based on the values and beliefs of its society. While some of these laws may seem strange or even barbaric by modern standards, they were considered necessary for maintaining social order and promoting the values of the time. By examining these laws, we can gain a better understanding of the customs and traditions of ancient Rome and the role that law played in shaping its society. Mesopotamia In ancient Mesopotamia, one of the most unusual laws was the Code of Hammurabi, which was one of the earliest known sets of laws. This code contained 282 laws, some of which were quite brutal. For example, if a person caused the death of a wealthy man's slave, they could be punished by having their own slave killed. In addition, there were laws that prescribed specific punishments for crimes based on the social status of the victim and the offender. Ancient Mesopotamia was a civilization that is known for its contributions to agriculture, 
architecture and writing. However, it also had its own unique set of laws and regulations, some of which may seem brutal or inhumane by modern standards. One of the most unusual laws in ancient Mesopotamia was the Code of Hammurabi, which was one of the earliest known sets of laws. This code contained 282 laws, some of which were quite brutal and prescribed severe punishments for crimes. For example, if a person caused the death of a wealthy man's slave, they could be punished by having their own slave killed. This law was based on the belief that slaves were valuable property and that the death of one slave was a significant loss to the owner. By punishing the offender with the death of their own slave, the code aimed to deter people from committing crimes that would result in the loss of valuable property. In addition, there were laws that prescribed specific punishments for crimes based on the social status of the victim and the offender. For example, if a commoner struck a noble, the punishment would be more severe than if a noble struck a commoner. This law was based on the belief that people of higher social status were more valuable and deserving of protection than those of lower social status. Overall, the laws and regulations of ancient Mesopotamia reflected the values and beliefs of its society. While some of these laws may seem brutal or inhumane by modern standards, they were considered necessary for maintaining social order and promoting the values of the time. By examining these laws, we can gain a better understanding of the customs and traditions of ancient Mesopotamia and the role that law played in shaping its society. However, it is important to note that while many of these laws might seem bizarre and outdated to us, some of the principles and values that they were based on continue to influence our legal systems and social norms today. For example, the Code of Hammurabi, which was one of the earliest known sets of laws, contained the principle of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, which is still used as a basis for determining appropriate punishments in some legal systems today. Similarly, the ancient Greeks' belief in the purity of the Olympic Games has had a lasting impact on the modern Olympics, where strict rules are in place to ensure fair play and prevent cheating. Overall, the laws and rules of ancient civilizations provide us with a fascinating glimpse into the beliefs, values, and social structures of our ancestors. While we may not agree with all these laws today, they remain an important part of our shared human story and cultural heritage. It is also worth noting that some of these ancient laws and rules were not entirely unique to their respective civilizations. For example, the prohibition on homosexual activity that existed in ancient Rome was also present in other ancient societies, such as ancient Greece. In addition, some of these laws and rules were not limited to ancient times, but persisted for centuries, shaping the legal and social norms of subsequent eras. For example, the prohibition on women attending the Olympic Games persisted for over a thousand years and was only lifted in modern times. It is also important to recognize that while these ancient laws and rules may seem strange or even absurd to us today, they served a crucial purpose in maintaining order and harmony within their respective societies. In some cases, these laws and rules may have even contributed to the longevity and stability of these civilizations. Overall, the study of ancient laws and rules provides us with valuable insights into the customs, beliefs, and social structures of ancient societies. By examining these laws and rules, we can gain a better understanding of the ways in which our legal and social systems have evolved over time and the ways in which they continue to be shaped by our shared cultural heritage. In conclusion, ancient civilizations had their own unique sets of laws and rules, which were often based on their cultural and religious beliefs. While some of these laws might seem strange or even barbaric to us today, they were considered necessary for maintaining order and harmony in the society. By exploring these ancient laws, we can gain a better understanding of the values and beliefs of our ancestors and appreciate how far we have come in terms of social justice and human rights.